literally our house is built around the pool. Bonnie's outdoor space is so big, there's not just sort of one aspect to it. It's just out of this world. So it's all about entertaining. Total party house. Nathan! <laughs> tiles, tiles, tiles. Oh God, this is torture. So just off the kitchen is the main family lounge area and I really want that space to kind of just open up to the outdoors. And then off that main living space is going to be the undercover outdoor area which is more about lounging and that area there will have a huge outdoor fireplace clad in stone as well. So everything is centred around this pool. So the outdoor kitchen sits just off the indoor kitchen. You walk outside, it's to the right hand side and it's going to sit under an outdoor pergola which is all about the detail and the design. Have a little bit of shade but still get that sunlight so we're going to put a clear roof on that pergola. So what Mom Palmer's come up with with our um, landscape design is having a pool which is centred which we always wanted to have a centred pool around a kind of view of the house and then this sunken lounge that comes off the pool. And that's just a, an area where you can watch the kids in the pool, kick back with your friends, have a coffee, have a drink, and a real entertaining space. This will become pool, outdoor entertaining, and then over here, half of that slab, if you look at half of that slab that has a whole heap of crap in it at the moment, but half of that slab, pretty much where it ends, that is an outdoor entertaining area, like it's covered. So I've pretty much designed my whole entire house around the pool and I am drowning in imagery. I found six pool trends to watch on realestate.com.au and I think that I'm kind of nearly there. So the first trend is tiling. I do plan on tiling the water's edge of the pool and I'm going to go for the white tile because I want to have that kind of really natural looking watercolour which, you know, is like a beach or like the sea. So another trend they're talking about here is mineral water and I have heard about it, apparently it's that little bit gentler on the skin. Another thing I'm tossing up is whether or not I should have a wet edge pool over kind of paving all the way around the pool. I love the idea from a design perspective of having that wet edge dropping off into the bush and it looking beautiful, but I don't love the idea of my kids falling off the edge. This space is our main living. So bifold from here, bifold all the way through. Yeah. Bifold from here all the way through. Yeah. And then you walk out and this is an undercover entertaining area. The main lounge room of Bonnie's house is connected directly to the main outdoor area. And so when all those doors are open, they're gonna feel like one space, which is the ideal way to design an entertaining area. So this is the first time we've done a concrete pool install, um, the first time ever for all of us. So it's a new process for us, but concept pools have been fantastic. So, you know, touch wood, I don't want to speak too soon, but it's, um, it's been a nice, simple process to date. So we'll see how that finishes up in about three months time. That there is just one fixed pane of glass. Indoor, outdoor, down here. You walk outside, and this is all the outdoor entertaining. And where we're standing here, this here, and another one facing there are the two hanging beds. You're really doing those hanging day beds. I mean, we all saw them in the original plan and yeah. thought, well, that's wishful thinking. Now yeah. I'm doing them. Yeah. Hanging. Yeah. I'll believe that when I see it. Oh, gosh, if, it, if I pull it off, it's going to look amazing. A set of French doors, a set of French doors. And then you walk out the French doors, and this is the outdoor kitchen. I wanted to have as many um, opportunities to have a glimpse of water as we could. Bond's got big, huge um, bifold doors to make you feel like you're at a resort. And it kind of has that integrated feeling of, am I inside or am I outside? When my bifolds went in, I felt like okay. I could see the house. Do you know the funniest part about that bar detail which I'm obsessed with and I love? Yeah. It's my husband's six foot one. And so when he actually stands at the window, <laughs> it's you can't see. Oh my God, that's funny. It's like the bar is six foot one. Yes. There's not just sort of one aspect to it. There's the external fireplace where there's gonna be couches and I think a fan above that. There's the pool. There's the sunken lounge next to the pool. There's the alfresco kitchen with so many zones. Total party house. I designed the um, outdoor barbecue area, outdoor kitchen with Nathan in mind. Did you? Yeah. 
I'm not sure how. Didn't at all. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. You don't need to design. You don't need to design a house. Like for your husband. I think you need to design a house for you need your to family. A house for your family. Exactly. Yeah. And I've designed the whole house for our family. And our family are going to freaking love it. All right, so this will turn into the outdoor kitchen. The biggest challenge I foresee with this outdoor area is getting all of the levels right. How much do you reckon we need? Let's pretend this is a stool. So that's your bench top. You can go sit, 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 all the way along. That's yeah. nice. Yeah, I think you want so to So you walk past that. without being able to drop off. Could you just demonstrate that? You see, look at this. Do you see? And then... No, uh, not. Yeah, can I you pretend you're drunk? Tuckle and off. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> if we could measure from there to there as a metre, I mean, that will give us the bench shop um, where you're standing for your barbecue. Okay, so Erin, you're now, turn around to face me, and you're now cooking, okay? Absolutely. And so if you go from a straight line from there to here. Pretty much there, Alan, like, it's line with the, me. Can you tell me the centre of where Erin is? And that's where the sink's going to go. So the sink is the centre of the stone, not the centre of the footprint. Because the stone runs into here. If the stone stopped short, it would be yeah, It would be have to centre off that. But it's like the bench is not the point. It's the stone. Yeah, centred off the um, bench top. Centred from you to the wall. From Alan, from you to me. The centre. It's millimetre perfect that things are going to need to be. I'm sure our builders got it all under control. Um, okay, that was harrowing. I'll never get that time back in my life again. On that alfresco kitchen. It's changed a lot. I know. It feels like a house now, doesn't well, it? It's because all the insulation's gone in. Yeah, it's real now. This is the new Bradford Black. You can see like we've got the yellow on the walls and then the white in the ceiling. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? So apparently right. it's all organic. Who would have thought insulation would go organic? <laughs> I should have realised. I'm surprised organic. my husband isn't onto that. Yeah. <laughs> With his health and wellbeing obsession. Yeah. It's looking good. It is looking cool, hey? <laughs> Honestly, just spot the difference. <laughs> Spot the difference the between instead. the insulation and the hair. In fact, if you did a touch test, a blind test, people would pick Bonnie's hair as the insulation. Let's ask Dave to do that. Hey guys, we're just going to do a blind test where I'm going to put two things in your hands, so or you're going to feel two things. Yes. One is going to be Bonnie's hair, and one is going to be insulation. So you have to work out which one's the insulation, which one's her hair. Okay. So uh, can you close it. your eyes? Yes, I'm on it. There's these two things. Yeah. Love them both. Right. Bonnie, love ya. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That ditch. That ditch. That ditch is going to be my sunken lounge room. Lounge room? Or lounge? Well, wow, we've got a bunker. We've got a bunker going in. I did not see that on the plan. It's a sunken lounge. All right. So with outdoor spaces, when I design them, it's really important that you have a, a shaded area that you can sit under that's undercover from the rain and the elements and all the rest of it. And then an area that's open to sunlight and, you know, you having that area with a pool. This is all tiled and these are just the most stunning Italian tiles. They're freaking gorgeous from National Tiles. Tiles, tiles, tiles. Is this, is this Tai Chi? Oh my god. So you can see here, this is like the sunken lounge. So the concrete is are going to pour today, but of course the day that they're going to pour, it's going to be 41 degrees. They were a little bit worried about it cracking in the heat. So fingers crossed it doesn't crack. So this is the main living space. Yeah, for indoor outdoor living. Yeah. So open up the doors, you've got the outdoor there, indoor here. This will be where we are the most in the yes. house. Isn't it nice? It's beautiful. TV, massive TV. Yeah, so bow concept, TV cabinet. TV will be um, over this side. And then the lounge is a, um, you should see the lounge, it's from Freedom. And it's a big L, a huge L, with a day bed that sits off to the side. Honestly, I am going to come and stay a bit more, like just for the day, not overnight. Oh my god, the pergola's built. Has this been here for long? Haven't you seen this? Oh, I don't know. I probably have. No, this is no. This is only new. This is only... Oh, yeah. yeah. It's on a slope. Yes, because there's a roof going on this. 
I thought you never did pergolas on an angle. You like, remember house number two? No, it's the slightest angle you've ever seen for it to put cover on. Okay. Because it has to have it four. It has to have four. I think bringing in, you know, elements that are on holidays, it's all about palms and water and greenery and outdoor spaces. On Bonnie's plans for the outdoor space, there are these like fully grown palm trees. They'll make all the difference. It looks like it's just gonna fall out. Oh God, this is torture, I can't watch this. We've got frangipanis everywhere which create that kind of coastal holiday vibe. Nathan! They are so beautiful. So Brian, we did have the fan here, yep. which was beautiful and I think that would look nice. But I've got a um, pendant light that I can put here instead. Yep. Don't you want a fan though? She sends me lots of texts with what do you think about this? And then I give her a bit of feedback, but I also give her a bit of time to think about it. And then if she really wants the crunch, I'll tell her exactly what I think. And we're usually on the same page. I think a fan. Don't, with oh. the pendant light, you should see it. It's like this powery, like, what about those beautiful fans you can get? Like, oh, they're gorgeous too. Mm. All right, a fan. I think so. She's right. Yeah. So we've got a really huge palm that's being built into the deck. Dave, with the palm, yep. how it's going to go in here. Yep. So we'll deck all the way through into this space. That's right. It'll sit in the dirt. That's right. So and we're then putting we'll deck the palm in first. It. We've got a big one metre wide root ball. Yep. Then we'll frame around it and we'll give you a nice hexagonal, octagonal finish around the palm. Oh, hang on. When he told me it was round. No, round. Round. <laughs> round is much more difficult because I need to give you a really nice border around it. This is Hardy Deck as a border. And then all your decking boards oh. run into it like that. It's all really nice and neat. Otherwise, if I do that, I just literally cut a hole in the hardy deck and it looks a bit... Oh my god, Dave's right. You, you want a border of hardy deck? 100%. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't yeah, thought of it'll that. It'll look pretty. We now have our outdoor tile on the barbecue area, which I friggin' love. Everything here, as you know, is like it's got that kind of concrete white um, feel to it and I've continued it on with the uh, tile in the barbecue area. And then we've got a piece of um, Caesar stone, it's called Cloudburst. It's beautiful. That's going on top, so this is that area where you'll sit and have a drink. Someone will be cooking the barbie. There's a sink over here and it'll come all the way around here, the bench top as well, and you'll sit here as well. We've used Hardy Deck a few times in our renovation. We have always painted it. But I love the way it looks in its raw form. So what finish are we going to put on these, Bon? Um, well, I'm not going to put anything on them. <laughs> See, even like this one, it's probably been sitting in the rain or done something. Yeah, yeah, I actually really like it. So yeah, I'm not going to do much. Awesome. Sounds and I think, I think even I can paint on the clear lacquer. <laughs> 100%. This is amazing. That's it. Is it amazing for you as it is for me? Oh, we're getting around it. We just want to know what height you'd like it at. So alone, you sort of need four, four fifty off the floor. Is that about? Is that about there? Yeah, give or take. That's six hundred. Yeah, it feels a bit high, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So what do we go? So you can 50? trim trim the bottom of the the rope by off. ten. Yeah. So go fifty. Yeah, I think about five hundred mil. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fifty five hundred. Yep. But on the hardy deck, is just amazing. It's better than I imagined it would be. Right now I am getting so sunburned. I feel like I'm at Threadbow, but there's no snow. Threadbow. I love it. So the neighbours, we've got three boys over here and obviously we've got my four boys. So the neighbours know when the bell goes, you have to disperse home. Oh, I thought you were going to say hey, when the bell goes, everyone's invited for dinner. I was like, that's a big call. <laughs> but it's not. When the bell goes, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here with the ensuite mirrors that we're going to give a little bit of a revamp. Got these online, they've arrived, they're brown and we want them white. So first step, yep. sand, give it a good old sand just to get that waxy kind of finish off it. Give it a good brush to get rid of the dust. <laughs> We've gone with the just Dulux wash and wear in vivid white, can't go wrong. So let's get into it. Now Bon, yes. once we get these painted and you actually hold them up in the ensuite. Yeah. What if it doesn't look like you were planning? Well, if it doesn't look like I was planning in my head, which is yeah. a high possibility these days, I think I might use them in our outdoor space. Okay. Near the um, outdoor kitchen. Oh, that'll look gorgeous. Yeah. With beautiful. all the light. Yeah. 
um, throwing off it. Mirrors outside. Ooh, am I going to have to put it there instead, do you think? Well, I think we can hold it up and yeah, we work see. it out. All yeah. Right. Oh my god. My concept pool is finally going in. I cannot believe it. Looking at it, um, so this looks like render. But I thought I was getting yep. like a glass bead. The glass is in there. Right. The glass is in there. It's just basically there hand applying it all yep. and once they finish this and it's going off they'll get in there with a high pressure water blaster take all the cement film off the top right so they and blast it out, all off that's right and then it'll bring out that glass coat. wow yeah all right, cool, right? Like, and the color i just can't wait to see the color of it <laughs> oh my god cool. so you've got the tarp up now yep. is that that was purely because of the heat that's right basically it protects the guys while they're in there and the interior so you don't get any issues and cracks any of that sort of stuff yeah oh <laughs> it's been a long summer a long yep. summer without my concept pool. <laughs> <laughs>
I love the main bathroom. Honestly, God, I've never seen anything like it. You walk into it and you just go. Lana doesn't do anything on site. Ryan! Oh, I've stuffed up massively. 